So just a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Regan Houlihan. I am, as Dinesh said before, the, the marketing lead here for Australia and New Zealand at Facebook. Uh, probably to call it out, um, I really love this role because I have to uh, have the opportunity to connect with like-minded business people like yourselves. Firstly, what we're going to cover is define who you want to reach. We're also going to determine where people will see your ads. And then lastly, the third part of this first part is setting your advertising budget and schedule. Over the years, advertising has become more personal and more customized to audiences. This helps ads be more relevant to individuals and can make them more effective. Personalized ads can help you connect with people who are more likely to be interested in what you have to offer. They can help you reach people who have shown an, an interest in your business online, find new audiences similar to your best customers, and help you launch new products and services. Because personalized ads are more relevant to the people who see them, they can create better experiences for people and lead to better results for your business. With Facebook Ads Manager, you can create an advertising campaign and run multiple ads at once instead of creating ads separately. To create an effective ad campaign for your business, make time first to consider your overall business goals. Now, that's a really crucial point, and you'll find out later in the presentation. So firstly, let's review how to create an ad in Ads Manager itself. Firstly, what you need to do is select an ad objective. Your objective is your business goal or what you want people to do when they see your ad. For example, you may want to increase traffic to your website. Next, determine who will see your ads. You can create ads in Ads Manager and select the audience who will see them. You can also narrow this audience down by location, demographics, interests, behavior, or connections. Next up, you choose where and when you want people to see your ads and where they will appear. You can decide which apps you want your ads to run on. Placements can include the newsfeed on your mobile phone, stories, which is a big one nowadays, in-stream, which is basically ad placements before or after when you're watching videos, and lastly, an in-article in our audience network, which I'll get to a little bit later on in the presentation. And then lastly, design your ad. There are a variety of different ad formats for you to choose from, like image, video, or both. Now, let's move to the second step of creating your ad, determining your target audience. Small business owners should be aware of how they spend their time and their budget to achieve their marketing goals. Identifying your audience, the group of people more likely to be interested in what your business has to offer, can increase the effectiveness of your ads and help you reach your business goals. When you create ads on Facebook, you can reach them through personalized content based on their demographic, as I said before, social and behavioral data, including online hobbies and activities. To help define your target audience, ask yourself these three questions. What do my customers need? Where are my customers located? And what are some of my characteristics my customers share? Based on these three answers, you can begin to define what your ideal customers look like. And then you can then decide which type of message will be most effective when you want someone to engage with your ads. Now, let's take a look at three sample audiences based on some businesses that they may create. Little Lemon is a restaurant, Lucky Shrub is a plant store, and Hair Day, a boutique hair salon. Little Lemon, as I said before, is a restaurant chain that serves traditional Mediterranean recipes with a modern twist. Here is a target audience that they created. Starting with their needs, the customer is after reasonably priced food with a large wine selection. The demographics of their customers is people aged 45 to 55 and live in and around Sydney. And from an interest point of view, they're after something that they don't need to cook after a long day at work. Lucky Shop, as I said before, is a plant store that sells indoor and outdoor plants. Here is their target audience they created. Starting with their needs, their customer are after plants that are easy to maintain. Demographics, they're after professionals who are aged 25 to 50 and don't potentially have kids. And from an interest point of view, they desire some green space without having gardens or backyards. Thirdly, the third business is Hair Day, a boutique hair salon. 
The needs of their customer is after convenient and hair, convenient and affordable haircuts. From a demographics point of view, they're after women aged 35 to 50 and located in central Melbourne. And lastly, from an interest point of view, they seek a salon that takes reservations for their busy schedule. Once you've created your audience, here is what it will look like in your ads manager. So I'll pause there so you can have a quick look. Now, once you choose who will see your ad, it's time to decide where people will see your ad. In addition to Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger, you can also run your ads on Audience Network. The Audience Network is a collection of apps and mobile websites that have been approved by Facebook where your ad can be displayed and reach more people. You can select the placements you want your ad to run on, which is known as manual placements, or you can opt for automatic placements, which provide the ad the opportunity to run on all available placements and apps. If you select manual placements, you can choose where specifically you want your ad um, to display itself across different Facebook platforms. Selecting different placements will help you reach your target audience and maximize your overall budget. However, if this is your first time advertising, we, we highly recommend using automatic placements. This offers you more opportunities to reach more people and helps maximize your overall results. For example, let's have a look at Lucky Shrub and how it chooses to place its ads on Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and Audience Network to reach its audience across its platforms. Now it's the time to decide where your target audience will see your ad and how much you want to spend on your campaign. When you want to determine your ad budget, ask yourself these three questions. How much are you willing to spend on your campaign? How much do you control do you want over your overall budget? And then lastly, how long do you want your ads to run for? When you tell Facebook how much you want to spend on a campaign, we'll try to get you as many results as possible for that amount. How much you spend will also affect the overall duration of your campaign. There are two ways to define your budget. Daily budgets are the average amount you want to spend on your ad set or campaign each day and do not provide a fixed limit. They can work well if you want to spend roughly the same amount each day, to achieve consistent daily results. Lifetime budgets, however, is the total amount you want to spend on your entire campaign and can be useful if you don't want to spend a certain amount each day and can work best if you have the flexibility. After you've determined how much you want to spend for your campaign, set your budget and schedule an ads manager. You can select daily or lifetime budget, as I said before. And then what you do now is set a start and end date to specify when your ad will start and finish running. And then finally, set the date and time when your ad will start to run. If you're just starting out to advertise, here are probably the two top tips we encourage you to do to start with your budget duration. Start running your ads for seven to 10 days. This time frame can help you find more people who are likely to take action off the back of your ad. And the second one, begin your campaign with a small budget and then adjust from there. So what are the three key takeaways from this part of the presentation? First, reach the appropriate audience with your ads by determining their needs, demographics, interests, and behaviors. Consider where you want your ad to be shown. You can use automatic placements to run ads across all of our Facebook apps and platforms. And then thirdly, decide how much you want to spend on your ads and how long you want them to run for. The two really key resources uh, for you to take away on. Um, so the first is our free online learning hub. So the URL is displayed there and we'll get the team to send it on after it. This is a dedicated online destination with plenty of other training resources available for you to get on uh, on yourself. So if you, if you know a little bit about, about the stuff already that I'm going to present to you today, there's a fully dedicated website uh, for you to sink your teeth into uh, and learn the tools and tricks for you to grow your business utilizing Facebook and Instagram. The second resource is our Boost with Facebook community group. Now this is an actual Facebook group designed for business people like yourself to connect with one another, uh, learn from updates around our company face-to-face um, -face, and just a, a really uh, built-in community where you can sort of connect with one another when we highly encourage you guys to join this group um, after the session if you're not already a member 